Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would sit down and just film, not really a get ready with me, but not really a tutorial. <laughs> I basically caught like spring fever and I wanted to do like just a really easy kind of cream based glowy kind of springtime look. And I was pretty much inspired by this new product, which is the Glossier Lid Stars. I received them in the mail. I ordered these off of their website where you can get two for 30 or one for 18. So um, the two is quite a good deal and you can pick which two colors you want, which is also really, really nice. So if you're interested in seeing me put this look together featuring the lid stars, then just keep on watching. So before we jump into the demo, I just wanna mention that I am a Glossier rep. I will leave my link down below. If you purchase anything on Glossier through that link, I will make a small commission off of that. I just wanted to be clear and transparent about that. So before you leave, hit that subscribe button and let's get into to this from demo. From bomb.com. I'm putting on a show on my Glossier bomb.com. <laughs> Everyone knows what this is. I think this was their very first product. And I think this is the second tube I have of theirs. But anyway, I just want to prep my lips. And since I want to do a really natural, youthful, kind of Glossier type of look, I am going to be using primarily cream products and I really want to look glowy. So I'm going to start with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video review that I did of this, but I really enjoyed it. But I used it all over my face in the beginning, which I am not going to do this time because I don't need that much highlight. So I'm just going to put it down as a base where I want to actually highlight. And I have moisturizer and I have some oil down, but I don't have any um, primer or anything. So I'm basically using this as primer. And I'm taking my Smith 115 brush and just gonna work that in to the areas that I applied it. Then I'm gonna take my Glossier Skin Tint in medium. And I like the pairing of these two products because this is pretty sheer and it lets the filter kind of come through. So I'm just gonna start by putting this all over my, this is probably my favorite part. It's like, what can I draw on my face today? I'm gonna take that same Smith 115 brush and since it probably has a little bit of that flawless filter in there, um, I'm gonna use it basically to blend in the foundation. It has been very spring-like here in Vegas, all the trees and flowering trees and flowering shrubs are like in bloom and I've had the worst hay fever ever. I think it's finally kind of starting to go away. I'm starting to feel halfway more human, but this past weekend, earlier this week, I felt like a zombie. I just couldn't, I couldn't snap out of my fog. This beautiful weather that we're having here has really kind of prompted me to want to do these kind of lighter, lighter base, more glowy, cream product base kind of looks. Mm. Straight eyebrow hair. All right, so let's move into concealer. I have Glossier Stretch Concealer in light 10. I'm just gonna run this on my under eye area. And if you have dry under eyes, this is, I think, the best concealer. It is so emollient. And while I don't feel like I have um, super dry under eyes at the moment because I am kind of suffering from allergies. My whole eye area just feels like tender. So this just seems like, I don't know, like the most like gentle concealer that I have. It's, um, it's effective enough. I feel like it brightens my under eye area and you know, it does a pretty good job at concealing. I wouldn't say it's like super high coverage but it definitely evens out my skin tone and I feel like it's fairly nourishing because it is so, so creamy. I'm gonna do some cream bronzer. So I was watching my friend Christina, the beauty rookie, yesterday. She did the beauty brand Superstars video and she talked about Chanel first and she mentioned the um, Soleil Tande Chanel, which is something I didn't mention uh, when I covered Chanel in my beauty brand Superstars video. But anyway, she mentioned it and when she did, I was like, ah, oh, I'm like, yes, that is such a good one. I'm like, I should have mentioned it, but there's so many products. But anyway, she reminded me of it and I've had this in my collection for so long and I always have it kind of tucked away in the back of my drawer because it's so big. I mean, this tub is really, really giant. 
Um, and so I never reach for it. So she said that and I was like, I am getting that bad boy out because I do really, really love it. Um, so I'm going to go back in with this uh, Smith Cosmetics uh, 115 brush and I'm going to just dab it in here and I'm just going to run it under my cheekbones. Isn't that such a pretty color? It's not obnoxiously orange. It's warm, but it has enough like red in there. I'm going to bronze up my whole forehead because it's spring and I'm feeling really pale. I'm going to do a little on my nose. Give myself a little sunburnt look here. All right, next let's do some blush. And I have the Glossier Cloud Paints, which I really, really love. Um, I have all four colors, but I just pulled out Puff and Dusk. These are the two, I want to say the two lightest colors. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to use Puff. This is the most cool toned cloud paint of them all, but I just, it's such a pretty pink. I'm going to dab some right on my cheekbones here. I'm just stippling it in with this uh, Smith brush, which is pretty clean. I um, pretty much used all the product off of there. I am liking that cool pink. It kind of pairs nicely with that warm bronzer. And then let's go in with the Glossier Halo Scope, which I really love. I have it in the shade Quartz. Um, it looks like this guy. And I am just going to run that over the tops of my cheekbones there. And I'm going to take a clean brush here. I have the Tom Ford number two brush. I think this is like the cream, cream foundation brush or something like that. Um, but this is a great cream product brush as well but I love that it just gives your skin like a nice kind of glossy glow perfect for spring I think all right let's go in with a little boy brow and this is the Glossier um, brow pomade I think is what they call it I have it in the shade brown I also have it in the shade black but that seems too stark for this look so I'm just wiping off the excess here look at how cute this little brush is so before I tried the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. This was my go-to. Yes, I love the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, but this is like my backup to that. If I'm not using that, I'm most likely using this guy. It's a little bit uh, wetter in formula than the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. So I feel like this gets a little, like what I just did, this gets a little bit messy quickly, and this doesn't have any fibers in it. So it's nice to kind of tame your brows and maybe like thicken them up a little bit, but it really doesn't like fill in gaps per se. All right, let's hit the lid stars now. Uh, again, I have Cub and Fawn. Let me uh, zoom you in actually. All right, so I have uh, Cub and Fawn and I'm gonna start with, whoa, with Cub. So these look like, uh, like lip gloss applicators and I think what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna go just right swipe in there. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand here and I'm gonna take my Sonia G Worker 2 brush, which is great for cream products and I'm just gonna dip it into what I have on the back of my hand here and I'm just gonna work that onto my lid Ooh, that's pretty. I'm sure you can use your fingers to apply this. I'm just not a fan. I'm gonna do my other eye and see how this one sets down. I'm kind of hoping they don't set down completely so that I can kind of uh, work them out a little bit, but let's see. They do blend nicely. So there's not much information on the box. It says dab onto lid and blend with fingertip. Um, cruelty free, made in Italy. All right, so let's try uh, Fawn next. This is the darker of the two. I'm just gonna wipe off this worker two brush. I'm gonna go into Fawn. I'm gonna focus this on the outer V here. I'm just gonna pat that on the outer corner there. I'm gonna wait for it to set a little bit so that it is a little bit easier to blend. And meanwhile, I'll do the other eye. And now I'll go back to my first eye and blend that out and see how that goes. Ooh, I like that. That is pretty. I'm going to turn down my light, my ring light a little bit, because I think it's kind of just blowing it all out. Can you see the eyeshadow a little bit better now? That is really pretty. I think it's perfect for that kind of like no makeup makeup kind of look. 
Very nice. Let me zoom you back out and turn my light back off. I think I'm gonna just throw some mascara on and then maybe throw some eyeliner on my lower lash line just because that always looks so naked if I have eyeshadow on. I'm just using my Chantecai Faux Seals mascara. It is really helping my lashes grow. I can't believe it. I actually think I am going to get something like Revitalash or New Lash, uh, one of those, because I was really skeptical about them. Um, and not that, you know, I watch YouTubers and it worked for them or whatever, but I just have really stubborn kind of hair and I was like, that's never gonna work for me. But now that this has worked for me and this is just a mascara, it's like I'm not even kind of like putting it on my lash line. I'm like, I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it may work. If you guys have any experience with either Revital Lash or New Lash or both, if you have a preference of one over the other, will you let me know down in the comment section? I uh, would love to hear about that. Can you believe how long my lashes have gotten? Not bad. I will always have Asian hair, so it's still completely straight. Even when I curl them, they look weird but at least I have a little bit of length now. And I'm just gonna take my Tom Ford um, Eye Cole Intense in Metallic Mink and just line my lower lash line just a little bit, just so it doesn't look so naked. I just wanna show you guys, um, so this is the Lid Star that has dried down on my hand. I wouldn't say it's completely transfer proof, but they're not really budging. I'm getting like a little bit of micro shimmer on my fingertip, but like, the main part of the pigment isn't moving. So that is pretty cool. I think I applied it um, like lightly and like thinly enough over my lid so that doesn't feel like a crunchy film. And then next, I think I'm gonna try a little concoction. I've never done this before. I'm gonna use the cloud paint on my lips and then throw the Glossier lip gloss on top because I've tried just the cloud paint on my lips and I felt it was a little bit, um, because it dries down kind of powdery, so it ended up feeling a little bit uh, chalky on my lips. So there is the cloud paint in Puff by itself, and now I'm going to throw the lip gloss on top. Really subtle, but this being so cool, it really cooled down my lips there. Well, there you have it. There is um, my springtime look, I guess you could call it, featuring the Glossier Lid Stars. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in my next video.